next. It is a heavyweight collision between Curtis Razor Blades and Junior Dos Santos. So here's the two-time UFC heavyweight champion, Junior Dos Santos, mentored by the great Minotauro Noguera. Sagawa has become one of the best boxers this division really has ever seen. Certainly has the takedown defense if he wants to keep the fight upright. And of course, that's where he's in his wheelhouse. He can fall back on the jiu-jitsu black belt if needed. Junior Dos Santos back tonight. Junior Dos Santos probably has the best boxing in all of MMA. Devastating one-punch knockout power and an ever-improving ground game to go with it. The former UFC heavyweight champion is one of the best fighters in mixed martial arts and a devastating heavyweight fighter. So here's the UFC heavyweight contender, Curtis Razor Blade, starting to accrue a lot of UFC experience, and there has been far more good than bad for the former 2012 National Juco wrestling champion. This is a fighter that a lot of contenders are gonna have to contend with as they try to get to that championship level. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected, shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavey. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 238 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador Bahia, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Junior Cigano And now he his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 10 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Racer! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to I the am game. very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is gonna go ready? down right now. Well, always great to be back in the MMA hotbed that is Rio de Janeiro as we get underway here at the Chines Arena in Brazil. All right, so here is Junior Dos Santos, one of the more prolific knockout and knockdown artists in UFC history, and a pretty fast starter as well. We'll see how it goes for Junior Dos Santos here tonight. Oh! Caught the kick there, Joe. All right, so first round is underway. You know when it comes to his strategy, a lot of it is rooted in his kicking game, has massive power, whether he's attacking the head. Look at that. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Still holding the back. He's got a flat now, nice back. And Dizzy, as
as he looks to improve position here. Side control again. Nice knee to the body. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Into side control again. Excellent movement here on the ground. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw off that. Staying busy here. You like to see that, Joe. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Back to side control. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Big body punch. Fighters back to their feet here. Dos Santos gets touched by that leg kick attempt. There's another leg kick. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite Whoa! adjustments. This could be it right here. Oh, very nice. Decides to get up here, Joe. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, that's How about those five minutes? Oh, what a way to end the round. He got stunned by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn. So he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though. What type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight. And let's look at that from another camera angle. Look at that. You got the better of you that round. He battered you a little bit. You hung there tough. You showed you have heart to be a champion. Now I need you. Ariane Celeste on hand as usual. Two here. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. How about that chin? Visibly limping here. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Sagan. Oh, oh big knee! knee. He's hurt badly. He's just hanging on here right now. Nice leg kick. And now start to snap off that jab. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. as he looks to improve position here. Flattens him out. In half guard. He gets the elbow up into the target. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's in side control now. He goes to the knee to the body, and it's there. Trying to take the back here. He landed a hard hammer fist. Holding him here, moving to north-south position. And really starting to make these shots count. Back to his feet again. 
again, amazing. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Huge uppercut misses. Effective punch there by Curtis Blades. Started to show some signs of swelling. He's doing a great job of ground and pound here. Ripping to the body and to the head, staying busy. Good work from the top here by Blades. And he switches to Southpaw. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Blades gets in the clinch. over he got knocked down just before you heard the horn and of course he's only got 60 seconds with which to recover not a lot of time to get his head back into this one here's a perfectly placed kick that results in a knockdown and let's see that again Kenny Andrade to get us going. Third round underway. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Good left hand. His leg appears to be hurt here, Joe. That is an obvious limp. Nice punch by Curtis Blades. Knee strike there, interrupted by JDS. Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. Huge block there. Straight punch. Oh! Big punches here. And he's looking for that left. Well, you gotta love this performance here tonight, Joe. He continues to land a high number of strikes just as he did in the previous round and seemingly not slowing down at all here tonight. Facing with that kick. Effective strike there by Dos Santos. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. That hurt him. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, he missed that kick. Oh, stunning jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, Joe. Really starting to pile up when it comes to the body strikes in the latter stages of this fight. of that bruising on his body. Oh. Inside control once again. Excellent movement here on the ground. Over under hooks here. And they both stand up. And he transitions to his back. Taken down by Curtis Blades. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. And now... Oh, vicious knee to the body. He's clearly in pain. He's trying to hang on there, but he is in big trouble. Oh! Oh, big left hook there.
Arabia. And here's a big shot that almost ends this fight. And here's a powerful shot that almost ends this fight. And let's look at that from a different angle. The beautiful Jenny Andrade to get us going. Scheduled for five five minute rounds. Dos Santos gets caught with that punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Couldn't agree with you more. And he continues to work the body here. That one hurt. And he counters with a left hand. How about that chin? Really swung for the fences with that hook. Oh, 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 man. He's moved to full guard. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. It looks like he's limping. Oh, uppercut lands, and he leaned right into that one. Joe left the head wide open there for the taking. Let's see if now that one... Oh! oh! And just like that, the fight is over! goodness! Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, that fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And with this particular striker, you are playing with poison if you don't get that guard up. You know these kicks are coming. You know they're coming in bunches. And that was a near-perfect land. Nailed the target. Full extension on the kick. And that's one of the better highlights we've seen here recently inside the octagon. Let's see it one more time. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 51 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Curtis Rayford. Well, there is a new heavyweight force to be reckoned with. His name is Curtis Razor Blades. Congratulations to Mr. Blades and his team, Team Elevation. Huge result for them here tonight. And a lot of people were wondering, what is the ceiling on Curtis Blades? Might be UFC heavyweight champion after what we saw tonight.